being creative and my football really like intertwine with each other. I believe in what I've created so far and I feel like I can take that further. A lot of people say I'm a perfectionist. Uh, wait, let me choose the other one. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so you're right, you're you see, when I, aren't you? you see when I print no, it, you're right, you're right. it comes off. It needs to be how I want it, how I imagine, and then I can uh, put it out there. My name's Jaden Raymond. I play for Crystal Palace and I'm a Wales international and I'm in the process of creating my own brand. All of this started from my mum. Yeah, that's where my creative side come from. Yeah, I just, I, I've really taken that on from her. She used to just bring all, bring home like loads of paints and like uh, different colouring books and just stuff like, that just got me in the mood to just do it in my spare time. So I was always like doodling or like just, yeah, just being creative. Me and my sister I was always like a little bit competitive when it came to like, uh, who could like impress my mum the most. So. <laughs> Yeah, she really inspired us to, you know, follow our dreams because she couldn't quite get to where she wanted to be, but, you know, I'm, I know that she's proud of us. Is that your favourite one? Yeah. Why is that your favourite? Just because it's like, um, like painted on there instead of printed. It's been such a help to, um, to just continue like, doing what I love and, yeah, both, doing both things that I love, you know, football and art. So through my project, this has taken you know two years of work. Yeah, this is what this is what I've been working on. Um, any spare time that I'd have, I come come in and then do some, do a bit, um, and it all adds up to you know making that making it all work. And talking about having your own brand, it's a thing that's relatively new in football. Is it is it something that's come from the result of this? I feel like as I've gone through my A-level project, um, I've managed to create a brand that you know that I would like to you know branch off at so I feel like by doing this A-level project has allowed me to see like the possibilities of making my own brand and doing my own um, my own business. Is that something that's, that's important to you you know not just the process but also the, the, the end, end result? Yeah I feel like the the process is the is the like enjoyment part I feel like um, the grade at the end is just something to show for it, but I feel like if I can use this to create something bigger, um, then it will be more beneficial than a grade, so, yeah. The idea was that I would have my initials and then all the positions I play, so I will play centre mid, which is eight, and then on the wing, which is seven. All of the positions that I would play add up to 38, so um, that's why I chose that number, and then um, it really just reflects my creativity on the pitch. I'm just trying to express myself. More well, recently, it's been such a release from football because of my injuries. So whenever I get an injury, it just allows me to spend more time, you know, um, working on my my own brands. It really helps me, like, take my mind off, you know, the bad situation of the injury, and then put my energy that I would have been using on football into something else, and then creating something that I would be proud of. Let's talk about a particular design here. I mean, the, one, the, the big p picture behind you. What? Tell us, firstly, what's the inspiration for that for that picture and everything that's on that picture there? So, um, I took quite a lot of inspiration from Norman O'Flynn, the artist. So, um, you know, with the kind of intimidating poses, um, me being like the main point of the picture. I feel like when I draw myself, it's more personal. I've had so many t-shirts wasted because, you know, <laughs> I'd pull it off and then it would come off like scratchy, but. I got the hang of it in the end, so... Obviously there's a contrast between these amazing designs, really colourful, bright, there's a lot going on. But this brand that you've, that you want to start now, in yeah. the process of, is very simple. Yeah, so my thinking behind um, my first brand that I'm going to launch is just to, you know, show people that you, know, you can go both ways. You can do the creative, very bright and like loud colours and you can go to, you know, a more simplistic design. So. You know, it doesn't really, you don't have to like put yourself into a hole and just say, I'm doing that. You can be, you can do whatever you want. 